Hey guys, it is Monday here on the Tia Vapes channel and today we are looking at the premium starter kit by Aspire. Okay guys, so today I am looking at the premium starter kit. I did look at the beginner starter kit which comes with this carbon fiber battery and the K1. However, this premium starter kit comes with not only a bigger battery and the battery's variable voltage, but also comes with the Aspire Nautilus Mini. So I'll go ahead and open up. Very nice. So you go ahead and, oh dear, open it up and there is the user's manual along with the device and the battery and the Aspire Mini, a wall adapter, USB charger, and under here there are a five pack of recli the replacement BVCs and these are 1.8 ohms. And the battery is variable voltage from 3.3 to 4.8 volts and it's a 1000 mAh or milliamp per hour battery. Overall, this is just a nice, really high quality, like it, like it says, premium starter kit. And I know everyone has their preference on batteries, it's just that this carbon fiber variable voltage battery is basically, you know, they are made to go together. But there is the dial and you can see it is at 3.3 volts. I'm going to turn it up. It is a traditional 5 push start, Ego style battery. It obviously has a 510 connection and an ego style connection. And I've also and, and I've also done many videos on the Aspire Nautilus Mini. I'll link below if you don't know what this is. But I just think it's a really good starter kit. Definitely great for a gift for somebody. This is a really great kit and I have to stand behind the fact that yes, it may be more expensive than your typical, you know, CE4 ego style kit that you can get at your vape shop. But this is premium and it's high quality and it's gonna last and it's going to, you know, perform the way you want it, especially for someone who is really hard to get to convince to vape. They're gonna need something that really, really works. Like, I just suggest. I tell people all the time when they ask me, if uh, like a smoker friend of mine asks me what they should do, I say, you know, go straight for the good stuff. I'm like, skip all the crappy tanks, skip all the tiny batteries, and go straight for the really good quality because it's worth it in the end. You do save money because if you're not paying for all that crappy stuff, trying and, you know, figuring things out, and just go for a good quality uh, setup. And so that's what I tell people. Then once you've found a quality product like Aspire, all their stuff is great quality. You can either pick, you know, the beginner kit like the K1, the cheaper one, or pay a little bit more for an even better one. It's, you really get what you pay for in the vape world. Needless to say, I absolutely love the Aspire Naughty Mini and these batteries. They're not my choice of battery. I do like um, box, boxer mod, boxier mods like the E-Grip, I love it. The E-Leaf, I like my E-Power, which I have E-Power for. <gasps> That'll be on soon. So I personally wouldn't pick this type of battery, but like I said, great for a, be the, a beginner because it's circular, kind of like a cigarette. It's more like a cigarette, but not so far off as to be you know, a box shape. If your very first E-Sig was a box shape E-Sig, let me know down in the comments below. Cause that's not really common. Usually people start out with Ego style batteries or even Sigalikes. Sigalikes did not work for me. Here is the whole setup. I also suggest that people, when starting to go into vaping from smoking, I suggest that if they're gonna do an Ego style battery, to go in to the God, I cannot talk today. To get a variable voltage one, just go to the variable voltage. Even if you don't understand it and you don't want to mess with it yet, it's just, it's so much better to have, like, to be able to customize your vape uh, uh, versus those Eagle style batteries that you can't change the voltage. And see, I love the Mini Naughty so much, I have it twice. This is my eye stick. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys this premium starter kit by Aspire. I will put a link below if you want to go check this out for yourself. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay tuned to my channel for more views. Subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys.